Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Chums, tis I, captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, I'm just running around on this beautiful planet, and I'm hunting down oxygen and um, dehydrogen. So the dehydrogen, the little blue crystals, I'm just zapping those. So here we go, here's a load of dehydrogen here. Zappity zap! Lots of dehydrogen going into my pockets right now. Lovely jubbly. You're probably wondering, well, why are you collecting dehydrogen? And why are you looking for oxygen? There's some oxygen over there, which are the little red plants. Oh, look, looks like I found a whole batch of oxygen plants over here, people. Yes, I'm going to be oxygen rich. Awesome. Well, I want to make a lot of the bionic laws. The bionic laws are the ones that allow you to collect a legendary fish or give you the higher chance of getting legendary fish anyway. And I've got a little farm going on to give me the rest of the items that I need. And I've got a galactic trade terminal to give me the rest of the items I need. So there we go. We've got those. And I've shown you the dehydrogen crystals that I'm collecting. So we've got these over here. So I think I've got I think I've got enough resources now to get my first batch of laws, homemade laws. And I will show you how I go about making them. All right, so I head back to base and I'll see you there. Okay, chums, so inside of my base, I've put down these planters and I've planted two gut root flowers and they give fecium. There's a fecium popping up above my head. And we've got the gamma, gamma root. So I'm going to pick those as well. Lovely jubbly. Pick all these. Nice. And we've got all of our gamma root. Now, I could go to town and you know put loads of these here and make a proper, proper farm. But this is just to get a daily amount, roughly, to create these things. So if I go into here and I go to craft now, the bionic law, I need lubricant and ion batteries. And I need to also craft an amino chamber. Now, to create the lubricant, it's not too difficult. I've got the ingredients, I think, to make the, um, the lubricant already. Let's continue down and I'll show you what I mean. So, lubricant, lubricant, where are you? Bam, 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 bam. There's lubricant there. Gamma root and fecium. So I just need a little bit more gamma root. So I could do with maybe having an additional planter or two just to have enough gamma root to make a batch of these. So yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to put in another one of those. Lovely jobs. So I guess install in that. Okay, chums, well, I've built two little biodomes. One's got like gamma in and gamma and fecium mixed, and pretty much like I've got inside there. Just a light little mini extension. So now that I've got the basic ingredients, I should be able to create my lubricant. I'll just pop that and just build the lubricant here. So lubricant is one of the main ingredients to it. So let's head on over. Where are you? There we go. How many can I make? I can only make one lubricant, which is fine. Now I need to make the amino chamber. This is a little bit more trickier to make. So the amino chamber, where are you amino chamber? Bam, ba -dam, ba -dam. There we go. I'm going to need metal plating and chlorine. Okay, so to make the chlorine, you saw me at the start of this video, collecting a few bits and bobs. If I just use a large refiner right here, and if I get some oxygen and also get the dehydrogen that I was collecting at the start, peeps. There we go. Let's uh, just grab those things. Where are they? Dehydrogen and oxygen somewhere in here. I wish we had some sort of sort thing. I mean, that's that's deuterium. I want the dehydrogen. So here we go. It looks like that, though. And I'm also looking for my oxygen. There's the oxygen. Pow. Dehydrogen. Let's see if we can find that. Come on, dehydrogen, where are you? Deuterium, I want dehydrogen. Somewhere in here is my dehydrogen. Or even if there was a search option, you can just start typing it in. There you go, that's going to make salt. So let's start that. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Turn a lot of that into salt. Reconvene in a mo. Okay, now you can put in two salts to make a chlorine or you can get salt and mix it with oxygen and get double the amount of chlorine so you can just use salt and salt and get chlorine or you can use oxygen and salt and get twice as much chlorine so that's what i'm doing right now lovely jubbly so i'm just going to make a, a little bit of chlorine okay now why that's going the other ingredients that you need for this sort of stuff is the ion batteries and metal plating now i've already got the ion batteries 
but if I head on over to this little galactic trade terminal, virtually all galactic trade terminals are going to sell metal plating. You can just buy the metal plating or you can buy the ferrite dust and craft your own or shoot some rocks and create your own, but I'm just going to create, I'm just going to make, say, five of them for now. That'll do me. I can also buy the ion batteries in some of these Galactic Trade Terminals. There's none for sale in this one, though. All right, got it. But they're easy to craft ion batteries. Not a problem. Let's head on back over this way, then. Let's see how my large refiner is getting on. Let's just grab whatever chlorine I've got at the moment. There we go. that do. Right, so I should be in a position now to make the amino chambers. So there we go. Let's go make the amino chambers. Bam, 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 bam. I mean, a chamber, where are you? There it is. And I can make a fair few of those. I can make five of them. Lovely jubbly. Now, if I did make more of this, you know, if I get myself some more fecium, I could make some more of that. But I can't at the moment. But I should now be able to make my bionic law. Ah, you need three lubricants to make one batch of these, and you are going to get 20 of them. So I need to wait for my farm to produce a fair few more lubricants, but through the power of magic, I'll be right back with you. Okay, jump. So now I should, I've got four lubricants, so just enough to make a singular batch. But inside this batch, you are actually going to get 20 of them. So it's all right for a day's fishing. Now, I might have to extend my farm out. I didn't realise I needed free lubricants. So that's a little bit of a, a heads up. They are a little bit trickier to craft than what I first anticipated, people. So yeah, I have got a little bit of surplus of gamma. I've only got 50 left over. But I could do more of that. Because I can't craft any more. But there we go. So... It can take you a little bit of toil and trouble to make these, but you are going to need some dehydrogen and some oxygen anyway to make your salt to then spin into chlorine. And you're going to need a little bit of a farm to grow yourself some gamma. Or you could just go to a gamma planet and go and pick a load of gamma. Then you've just got to worry about the fecium, which if you feed creatures, they are going to poop it out. So there's multiple ways to get the stuff. Now, if you want to be really crafty, what you can do is just pop yourself into creative mode. So just go to difficulty. And where it says normal, move that over to creative mode and hit apply changes. Then go into here and you should be able to just click on there to craft more. Look, I've now got 60, 80, 100 of them. Easy peasy. And then swap it back to the mode that you want to be in, you know, survival or normal or whatever. What I would say though, that changing your difficulty can make it so you won't be able to get any of the achievements for like platinum the game. So only do this if you platinum the game or if you're not really interested in trophies. But I'm going to expand my farm out. I think I'm going to go back a couple of layers and have a fair few more planter bays when it comes to, you know, having a little bit more on the bake, you know. But anyway, people, I'll reconvene when I've done that. OK, jump. so I've built this little mezzanine out here as well, so I can do a little bit of fishing just off of this end beam, which is pretty darn sweet. Happa cha! I've got one of those bionic laws on right now. Let's see if I get lucky. Let's see if we catch ourselves a lovely fish. Got myself a coffee on the bag. Oh. Now we're in. Hmm. We've got a shrieking oyster. Okay, well, fine. We've got some light little decals there. Got the pots from the emoji. Let's head on in. So in here, I've got a load of gamma growing. And the same on the opposite side. So I've got, like, what, six of these? This one's just full of fecium, though. And these ones have got, like, a little mixture of fecium and also gamma. There's a couple of fecium plants in there, not many. And then there's just one or two fecium plants in here and gamma. Because you need a fair bit more fecium than you do gamma. Then in these under areas, I've added in a load of um, batteries and a load of solar panels to keep it all fully stocked in power. So that's my little gamma lubricant farm, people. Now, this is actually in the rendezvous system. If you want to come here, there's already bases freaking everywhere. But yeah, this is my little base. If you do want to come here and help yourself, you're more than welcome to. Just keep in mind, though, that I do kind of want to use this daily myself to create baits. But then I can use that little method. If I do come here and find that somebody's half-inched all my stuff, it's OK. I don't mind popping into creative mode. 
So there we go. It is what it is. If you don't want to pop into creative mode and you haven't got the time or patience to build a farm, there is a way to actually duplicate the batches. So all you need to do is get yourself a portable refiner, put it somewhere reasonably flat, go over to it, and get your bait that you want to clone, okay? So if I go down on here, you can see I've got a lot of portable refiners in here. That's because I do this occasionally. Right, so if I find the thing that I want to duplicate, then come on, where's the bait? Where Where is it? Okay, just say I want to get another 500 of these ones. So if I put that in there, and put this on top of there, now I've only put 500 in there, right? If I get it dead on top, it has to be almost perfectly aligned. It can be a little bit squiffy, but there you go. There's a bit of skill involved in this anyway, people. And then you just put another one on another one on top. And then when you pick them up, you said, oh, I've got 500, I've now got 1,000. And you can do that as many times as you like and get massive amounts. So there you go. There's that as well. If you don't want to change your game mode, if you don't want to lose your rewards for like completing it in Platinum, you can keep it in the game mode you're in. That works in every single game mode, that sort of duplication method. It's been in there since the freaking dawn of time. Hello Games haven't patched it. They could patch it, they haven't patched it. So while it's there, I do use it every now and again to clone a few things. They've actually stopped it so you can't put in S-Class modules in there anymore. So I think they've made made it quite aware that, you know, we're aware that you can duplicate these things. We just don't want you duplicating the hell and earning yourself a load of nanites. So the next test I'm going to do, people, is just how many nanites I can earn through an hour's worth of fishing. I want to see if it's quite lucrative. So that'll be my next video. I'm going to do an hour's worth of fishing. That's manual fishing and also using the maximum of three pods per base. Because unless you glitch them in, the only way you can have pods is to have three per base. You're kind of limited to that. It doesn't let you build like a fourth one. There you go. Let me just give it a quick shot just to make sure I'm... I think you're limited to three per base. It's not, it's not letting me actually place it anywhere. It must be constructed underwater. I think you are limited to three anyway. But anyway, people, that's pretty much everything that I've, I've got for you this episode. That's just how to make yourself a bionic law farm and how to make bionic laws. And uh, yeah, next time we're going to do fishing for a whole hour and see how many nanites I get. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.